Hey, it's Nathan with Crazy Eye Marketing. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to deliver a digital product using a membership site in ClickFunnels. Now, another way to do it is with a thank you page, and I have another video for that, so if you don't like or you don't want to set up a membership site, uh, go watch the other video where I show you how to do it with a thank you page. So in this video, we're gonna build a membership site and deliver our digital products that way. So this video will be a little long because I'm gonna do everything from scratch, but that way you'll see the entire process and Hopefully, wherever you are in the setup, you'll be able to pick up and take what you need and get everything connected. So without further ado, let's just hop into it. I'm going to go ahead and add a new funnel, and I'm going to create a new funnel, and I want to go ahead and sell my product, and I'm going to go ahead and select a membership funnel, and I'll do demo membership funnel, and build my funnel, All right, and I'm going to go ahead and select a membership access page. And I'm gonna click down here to the membership area and just go ahead and select a membership area as well. And then I actually need two other pages. I need an order form so that way people can join the membership area. Order form. And I'll go to sales and order form. And I'm just gonna go ahead and select a random template. Doesn't matter for this demonstration. And I need an order confirmation page, so I'll add a new step. Order confirmation. Create funnel step. And go to sales and order confirmation right here. And I'll just select a template. And good enough. And let me rearrange the funnel, put the order form and order confirmation page ahead of the membership access pages and membership area. All right, so I got the pages I need. Now let's go to my membership area and add my digital product. So of course I could go ahead and rename this and organize my membership portal however makes sense, but I'm gonna keep it nice and default. So I'm just gonna open this first lesson in the editor. And as that's loading up, I wanna tell you about Dropbox real quick. So obviously there's a bunch of different ways you could go ahead and upload a file to the internet in order to let people download it. Uh, you could upload it to ClickFunnels. They, under the digital assets area, you can upload files that are three megabytes or smaller, which is obviously very small, and you probably have a larger file. So to do that, you could upload your file anywhere that hosts files, but I like Dropbox because they do have free settings, and I already have a Dropbox account, and so you probably have a Dropbox account as well. So you're probably ready to go, and Dropbox makes it really easy. So what I wanna do first is go ahead and grab my, my big old file, and upload it to Dropbox real quick. And I'll click on this share button over here and I wanna create a link. And so anyone with this link can view this file. I can double check the link settings. So I want anyone with the link, add an expiration date, nope. Disable downloads for this link, nope. I want people to be able to download it. I'll hit cancel now. I'll copy this link and I'll open it in incognito window real quick. And so if I paste the link just as it is, you'll notice there's a DL equals zero right here. And so if you visit that link as it is, it's gonna load up a window that looks like Dropbox, just like this, and people could steer into the file and look around. They could also download it or add it to their Dropbox if they have a Dropbox and so on. Now if we switch this DL equals zero, zero we switch a zero to a one, and then we hit enter, it, may, it forces us to download the file. So you can pick how you want to deliver your file. If you want people to go to like Dropbox and download the file that way, or if you want to just like force download it and they won't even know that the file's hosted on Dropbox unless they look at the URL. So that's something I just wanted to point out. I personally like doing it with the one, so that way people aren't going to something that looks like this and then they get confused. They're like, well, where's my file? How do I download it? Yeah, it says download over here, but people might miss it. They might not be super comfortable, whereas with the equals one, like it just straight up downloads their file, right? So anyway, that's just something I wanted to point out. If you don't have anywhere to store a file, Dropbox is a good option. All right, so now I'm just gonna link a button up to it. Go to URL action and URL action, delete that pound sign or hashtag, paste in my link right there, and I'm good to go. So this button will link to my file. I'll just delete these out of here for Simplicity, so there we go, somebody logs in, they got access to this file, and so on. All right, so now what I gotta do is go ahead and actually create a product for somebody to buy, so that way they could access my membership site and download the file, right? 
So let's go to the order form and go to products here. And we want to add a new product. And I'm going to call this demo product. Select your Stripe information or billing or billing integration. One time demo product. Fulfillment email. All right, so this one, this is important right here. You want to get this step right because this is how your product gets associated with your membership site. So we can, of course, change the subject line. Right now, just thank you for your purchase, which is fine for demonstration purposes. And thank you for your purchase. You may access your product, product, product here at any time, at any time. And then this is a dynamic value that will be update based off of what you select in this drop down field. Also, what you select in this drop down field will dynamically update the link on the order confirmation page, which I'll show you in just a second here. Uh, so, we need to go ahead and select the correct membership portal or membership area that we want to give people access to when they buy this product. Okay, so scroll on down here. I got demo membership funnel and I got membership area. So I want to give people access to this membership area when they buy the product. We'll create the product now. All right, cool. So we got our product here. And just for uh, information purposes, on the order confirmation page, let me pop this up real quick. So on that fulfillment email tab where we selected the appropriate membership area, and I said that I was going to update the link on the order confirmation page, it's going to update this access purchase link here. So It'll automatically associate people that buy that particular product and it'll link this to that membership area. Hopefully that's making sense. Hopefully I explained that clearly enough. All right, so that's the order confirmation page. Let's go back to the membership area and make sure that we're giving people the permissions they need to access this lesson or this lesson section. So we want to go to restrict access and we want to find our funnel. So here's my funnel actually right here at the top, demo membership funnel and my demo product. So I only want people that buy my demo product to have access to this lesson section, which contains the lesson, which contains the link to download the file that they purchased, right? So I'll select this demo product, update lesson section, and boom, just like that, only people that have purchased the demo product will have access to this file. So my funnel should be technically ready to go. Let me switch it to test mode and actually order the product real quick. So we'll switch it to test mode and save an update. And let me grab the link and let me go incognito, paste the link in here. So we got my demo product for $5. Test, I'll do test 89. Take my test credit card information. CVC, one, two, three, expiration year, somewhere in the future. I'm copying my email address. All right, so complete order. So now it should take me to my order confirmation page and that access purchase link should link to my membership access area. So let's do access purchase here. And there we go, create your account. So I need to use the email that I signed up with. So Nathan plus test89 at crazyoutmarketing.com. I'll go ahead and set my password create my account and I am logged in and we see that I'm under the first section first lesson and we have my file here so if I click download now it should force me to download the file and boom just like that I have to download the file and so that's all there is to delivering a digital product with a membership site on ClickFunnels